once again I'm doing one of these videos because apparently I just, you know, I enjoy shaming myself. <laughs> my cuties how we all doing it's like in the afternoon right different energy i always film my videos first thing in the morning and uh this is like afternoon because i was out this morning and i'm like whoa who is she <laughs> i'm fashion i'm style and if they can't keep up then that's their problem today I was thinking, I recently posted a summer book haul full of so many books I'm excited for. And I'm posting less book hauls this year because I'm trying to be a lot more selective with the books that I do buy myself. And I was thinking back and I posted a summer book haul last year and I thought, huh, yeah, let's, let's go back and watch that and see <laughs> how many of those books last summer's book haul I have read. I <laughs> I'm in danger. I love doing these videos. I don't ask me why, because I don't typically do that great at them, but I thought it'd be fun to go back and look and see how many of those books I have read. Now, I will say, I went and I clicked on the video, haven't watched it, have no idea of the books that are gonna be coming up, but at the start of the video, there is a brand that I work with, and they sent me, I think, four books. I'm not including that in the total, because it's not books I bought myself or requested from publishers or put on my wish list, you know, that I wanted. Um, it was a brand that I worked with, and I actually think I still have two or three of the four books still on my tbr i haven't read any of them <laughs> but i still want to read it's either two or three of them so yeah you can include that in your own total if you want but i'm doing myself a favor and i'm not including that so let's just get into it there's nothing more to say you know how these videos go we'll keep a total and it'll be so much fun we'll have the most fun of our entire lives won't we yes i posted this on the 8th of june so almost exactly a year ago girl you look cute did i buy the same dress in my summer book haul this year i think i did that's obviously my summer dress <laughs> i have so many good books to talk about okay okay let's talk so about many good books let's see i bought let's First, see i bought Let me get the note surface out. of wonders note by elizabeth <gasps> now i think i need to take the sticker off listen i'm bad at taking sticker off nobody judge me <laughs> nobody judge me i don't want to hear it <laughs> i'm still bad at taking stickers off i just don't i'm just bad at doing it and i get scared i get stressed out I'm like i'm gonna do it i'm gonna fail anyway reddit bitches you said i would fail you were incorrect. We're, we're winning. We're winning here. We were all so happy that day. It's, it's actually hard to even imagine how terrible things would soon become. I have read Circus of Wonders. I do love that edition. One of the most beautiful books I own. I really just love the cover, the design of it. I was a bit disappointed by the book. I did a video reading like the most beautiful books on my TBR and do they match up? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, it was fine, but it's nothing I'm gonna think about going forward. But I read it. <laughs> Actually, we're gonna do a read. Hang on. We're gonna do a read and liked and a read and didn't like. So I'm gonna put that as didn't like because it was a disappointment even though i liked it fine i'm gonna put it as didn't like no it's somewhere in the middle and then another beautiful cover is marion lane and the midnight murder by t.a wilberg oh my god i'm just like about to get this why did i start jesus i'm embarrassing guys someone have a go at me <laughs> i have read marion lane and the midnight murder but i don't like it <laughs> Yeah, this was a major disappointment. It was one of my most anticipated releases of last year. It was like a locked room murder mystery. You know, I was so excited for it. It was very lackluster. <laughs> it was historical fiction, but there was nothing other than the characters being like, it's the 1960s, bitch. There was nothing of the time period in the book. And it was just a really boring book. Really, really boring book. Yeah, sorry about it, but I've read it. I can't believe I've read the first two books. Don't be shocked. You're shocked? You're shocked? This could be my moment. Wow. I bought this ages ago because the, it wasn't supposed to be released until June sometime, this book, and then they rushed up the release really Excuse quickly. Me? And it's The Dinner um, Guest by P.P. <laughs> Wolfby. <laughs> <laughs> Spoke too soon. <laughs> I haven't read. I haven't read The Dinner Guest. This is a book that I do still really want to read. It's wrapped up somewhere, so bitch could appear any moment in Wrapped Up. I have a video idea for this. It's just getting around to doing the video. My vlogs have not been coming as quick and as fast as I would like this year because I haven't been reading as much as I would like. We all know this. We know the situation. I'm about to, we know this year, 2.0 Megan, 2.0, new me, new year. There's a new year actually. New year. 22 has only just begun. <laughs> Delusion. <laughs> Convince yourself. The Dinner Guest is this like thriller 
where I think there's a murder at this dinner and you're trying to figure out who did it. There's I think two husbands and a neighbour. I can't remember who gets killed. I think it's like another neighbour. I think there's four of them there and you're like, who is it? I've heard pretty good things from like people who read thrillers, particularly like British, UK booktubers who have read it and who read a lot of thrillers. I've heard pretty good things. So Amazon, BP Waters ran the Waterstones Twitter account, which is a fact that never ceased to interest me. I think for many years ran the Twitter account. So I really want to read his book. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know why I think the two would correlate, but I just think it's interesting. Cluedo. <laughs> Let's talk about some books that my grandparents got me for finishing oh. uni, very kindly. They, I told them the other day. They're when I so them, kind. They <laughs> always pick so well. They do they always pick so well. Videos. They always Hello. pick the right they books. They always know what, they I'm, always gonna know what I'm gonna want. They <laughs> always pick so well. No one picks better off of my wish list than them. So first, I'm. So I'm so excited. Um, oh, they I've got me it. in the hall with the knife by <laughs> Diana Peterfront. I <laughs> not this. Not this! <gasps> I haven't read it. <laughs> As you guys know, this is probably one of the series I want to start the most, but I'm trying to get my series down, and I tend to be more intentional about not starting the series. I, this is stupid. Not starting the series that I want to read the most, and I end up starting other series that I'm not as bothered about, but I'm like, I'm saving that series for when I can do it without guilt, which never happens. This, you know, Clue Mystery series, I've spoken about it a lot. You guys are probably like sick to death of hearing me speak about it, and just like, bitch read it. <laughs> so we're half and half for read and haven't read so far, which is not the worst. <laughs> then they got me Across the Green Grass Fields by Sean and Maguire. You don't know how hard I've had to try these past few months not to buy this. Oh my god, yes! I have read and I loved Across the Green Grass Fields. One of my favourites in the Wayward Children series so far, if you know the Wayward Children series, it's portal fantasy with these kids going to these magical worlds. And Across the Green Grass Fields, I just loved it. It's about like horses and centaurs and this girl going into this world of them. And listen, I'm not a horsey gal, <laughs> but I just loved the found family and relationships in this. I just think it's such a beautiful book. It made me cry. Like, Sean McGuire does something to me. I just love Sean McGuire. Sean McGuire is one of my favourite authors ever, without a shadow of a doubt. And I've read the next in the series after it as well. You can't stop me. I'm, I'm on, on top, top of the world. world. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> But before we continue in seeing me succeed and fail, I want to say such a big thank you to the sponsor of this video, which is Polygents. Polygents is a research academy dedicated to driven students who are looking for one-on-one -on -one mentorship with top tier academics and practitioners. It's such a cool way for students and young people to turn their passions into research and learning with help from a mentor who is an expert. For example, I was looking at some of the research projects that students have done, having little brows, and I looked on the literature section and there was this one project that I found by Lily called Amplifying Marginalised Voices Post-Colonial Literature and Creative Writing and it sounds so interesting. Lily studied all of these stories from marginalised writers then used that research to write a semi-autobiographical account and also create a piece of digital art which I think is just so cool. Students with Polygents have written books, filmed documentaries with filmmakers and have created podcasts. Just to give you an idea of some of the different things that that are available and that these students have done those such amazing creative things with the research they've done. Use my link below to get $250 off your Polygents program and get paired with an expert mentor of your choice to turn your passion project into a reality. Okay, thank you so much to Polygents for sponsoring this video. It is time to get back into it. <laughs> get into the embarrassment. And then finally they got me. I love this cover as well so much and so mm. many people didn't like this cover. Rule of Wolves by Lee Bardugo. Yeah, no. Uh-uh. Haven't read it. <laughs> I haven't even read King of Scars. I haven't even read King of Scars. But I love Rule of Wolves cover. And listen, I've read everything else from Lee Bardugo. So it is time to get around to this soon. I've just, again, been avoiding starting more series. Because that's the moral thing to do. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, Sid. Sid. Oh, Sid. Sid. Go subscribe oh, wait, I know what this Sid, is. if you haven't already. For finishing my degree, she got me The Mirror Season by Anne-Marie McCamore. Okay. <laughs> that is actually painful to watch. This one is interesting because this is, I'm about to expose myself a little bit, okay? I have read the first maybe 40 pages of this because I unwrapped it and wrapped up. Now, I never do this, but I started reading it and then I went back and filmed a different unwrapping. That's the first time I've ever done it because I was reading the book 
and it just felt like too heavy a book to do a, like a dedicated reading vlog for because obviously in Wrapped Up I only read the one book. It was a couple weeks ago and I wasn't in the best place mentally and I was just like you know the book has very heavy topics surrounding SA and I don't think I was ready to talk about that solely in, in a vlog. If it was like a book I had to read like in a three book vlog I think I probably could have done it but I just didn't feel up to that in myself and also reading it I found pretty tough at the time so I did go back and refilm something but I did enjoy the like 40 pages of it that I read but I still also think that I want Wild Beauty by Amy McMore to be my first book by them that I read so yeah. <laughs> Hannah from Snow White Reader very kindly sent Hannah? me an arc of Girls of Storm oh, okay. and Shadow by Natasha Yang. This one we don't count because I was never supposed to read this. <laughs> Hannah sent me this, but I'd already read the book. It was just to own and be part of my collection. So that's like a free pass. Well, hey, <laughs> we love to see it. Oh, I just clicked on Mina's video. Hey, Mina, love ya, but I'm watching me right now. <laughs> but Fairy Lou sent me Shadow and Bone, the collector's edition. Oh, another one, <laughs> another one. <laughs> Another one. I love this edition. It's up there on my favourite shelf, even though it's not a favourite. I didn't really like it, but it matches my Six of Crows and Green Kingdom, so it goes there. Another one. Another free pass. Yes. Um, yeah, <laughs> another one that I was never intending to read because I'd already read it. And then let's talk about some books that oh, publishers, publishers have sent me. The one I'm probably most excited for out of what is here. Um, these first two are sent to me by Harper360YA oh, and they have like a form where you can request some books and this was one I knew I wanted to request. This is Love and Other Natural Disasters by Misa Seguria. Yeah, I really want to read Love and Other Natural Disasters by Misa Seguria. I think it's, again, it's one that's wrapped up, so like, let's... Don't hold your breath. Um... <laughs> Now, the other book they sent me, they're a long list. I don't think I requested this one, but I am excited for it. So they sent me Sisters of the Snake by Serena and Sasha Nanuna. Okay, okay. <laughs> Here's the thing. I am gonna say read and didn't like because I DNF'd it. I think we're gonna count it. We're gonna count it. I mean, I didn't read a lot of it, but I did. <laughs> I just didn't really have that much of an interest in it because like I said, I didn't request this from HarperCollins. I think there was a mix up and whilst I'm incredibly grateful to receive it, it just wasn't really the kind of YA fantasy that interests me anymore. I've read a lot of this kind of YA fantasy with like sisters and a king and queen and like who's the true princess and whatever. It's not for me, Mark. So it just wasn't for me personally and I, I DNF'd it, so. <laughs> And then the last book that a publisher last sent me book. Oh, is Other me. People's Clothes by Kella Henkel. <laughs> I haven't read it. I mean, what even do I say at this point? No, this is interesting. This is interesting. It's interesting to see what percentage of stuff I have read a year on. And I have heard a lot of good things about other people's clothes. A lot of people also hauling it. I feel like it's had a bit of a resurgence. It's kind of like risen from the ashes this past few months versus when it first came out. Um, it's like this thriller set in Berlin. We've got these girls staying at this woman's apartment and they're like thinking that something shady is going on with her. They're like, oh. Oh, I've heard it's kind of set, I think it's set in the early naughty, noughties and like the Britney, Lindsay era, which is something I'm always looking for in books. So I'm so super excited to read it. I just haven't read it yet. <laughs> so that was the last book. That was a small book haul. <laughs> now I always try to like keep at least 20 books like back until I do a book haul. Some people like wait for like a hundred and I'm like, girl, I'd be waiting the whole year. <laughs> So I read and liked one, read and didn't like three. <laughs> this is such bad, so bad and haven't read six. Well, hmm. <laughs> only liking one that I've read out of that list. Yeah, not great, mm, not great. <laughs> but I feel like this year I've been so much more critical with my reading and maybe even towards the end of last year, I'm just learning more what I like and what I don't like and, and spotting trends of what I don't like in books. Like I've had almost the same amount of two stars already this year that I had in the whole of last year. And I have not read a comparable number of books. So the ratios, they're slipping. <laughs> They're slipping a bit. So I think I just need to be more intentional with what I buy. And I think doing these kind of videos and reflecting on it is really helpful for me um, learning about that. So let me know what you thought of any of the books that we saw in this video. Wow. I thought there would be more, but hey ho, hey ho means a shorter video for us all. Let me know, yeah, what you thought of any of them. If you got into the end of the video, comment. 
I wish there was a, this emoji. Comment the melting emoji if you have it on your phone. <laughs> the melt, the new melting one. I like that one. So comment that down below if you got into the end. Make sure you check out the link below to check out Polygents. I would 100% recommend it. I hope you guys keep well and I'll see you very soon in another video. Bye!